Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Hope you guys are all having a great day, and today we're going to be doing some more experimenting and exploring in St. Denis. Now, we are in Chapter 4, which means we got stuff to do with Angelo Bronte. Now, since we're in Chapter 4, I figured maybe he is still in his mansion, so we're going to be breaking in, uh, finding out everything that is inside of Angelo Bronte's mansion and then maybe seeing if we can actually kill him. So I've got a couple different saves in chapter four and I want to see if he is in there so we, that we can mess with him, maybe loot him, see if he's got any special loot. Uh, so I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and if you find yourself enjoying it, make sure to follow that like button as it really helps out. Uh, we got to get to Saint Denis. And I know exactly where Angelo Bronte's house is. Now, I wanted to do this in other chapters, but I figured chapter four would be the best chapter to do this in uh, because he's still in the area and stuff like that. And I figured if we had an opportunity to find him inside of his house, it would be in chapter four. So hopefully we find him there. Now we're at Angelo Bronte's house here and looks like we got some guards. So I don't want to attract attention as I'm getting inside. So I would like to maybe try and get in in the back. It's usually a little bit easier that way as well. Um, if I kill anybody out front, I'm definitely going to pick up some witnesses. And we don't like witnesses. So let's try and get in the back here. Now, I do know that there's obviously an interior because we get into this house during cutscenes. So anything that we can get into during cutscenes, we can actually glitch into and explore outside of the game. Now, I wonder what this is if there's anything in this little house back here there we go so hopefully there's nobody in the oh there's a lot of people around here but maybe we can kill the oh i don't have any knives or anything right, so this this gate's locked can we jump up here it looks like the only way to get inside of the property is in the front so we're just gonna have to attract attention and glitch in the, oh wait 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 there we go see if we can just super secret squirrel our way inside what is this little building here this back door here looks promising well this isn't even the main house okay your mom's looking for a problem yeah okay i'm busy He's got a... Oh. oh. Let's do this one time. Come on, baby. Ah. The world's worst. Oh, my God. There's so many people here. Holy shit. They're so angry. Oh, my God. So, in the epilogue, there is not this many people here. So, if we're going to find Angelo Bronte, it's definitely going to be in Chapter 4. If he's still in the house. And it would make sense for him to still be in the house in Chapter 4. Especially... If all these guards are here that are not here in the epilogue or anything like that. You want some coppers? Bring it on, homies. I still got my lantern out. I'm freaking ready to go. You want some? I don't even know what you're doing. Where are you going? Oh, my God. There we go. Apparently, Arthur just really did not want to kill that particular guy. Boop! Look at that grumpy face. Face only a mother could love. Okay. Come on, baby. Ugh. Yes. Jump. Oh, I freaking had it. I had it. We were right there. Now, some of you say you're not supposed to jump, but jumping, if you don't get in right off the bat, sometimes jumping will help. Is that guy still alive? No, he's just bleeding out. Okay. It's like being alive, but not. <laughs> oh, that was brutal. A bit. There we go. Maybe if we look straight up, sometimes that'll do the... There we go. Okay. We made it inside. Now we get to explore freely. They can shoot us through the windows, but I don't think they can actually get inside. Ooh, there's like rooms in here and stuff. Okay. What is this? We got some tea going on over here. Can we loot any of this? Alright, so there's nothing lootable here get into this room. I just want to explore every single room, because he could be hiding, you know? Seems like the type of guy that would hide. 
Look at this painting. At least it's not the strange man that's up there. That would have raised some major red flags if that was a painting of the strange man. If you guys haven't investigated into the mystery of the strange man from Red Dead Redemption 1, he does show up in Red Dead Redemption 2. I got that right on the homepage of my channel. I wish we could play the piano. That would be awesome. Almost spooked myself with that giant-ass mirror. This is a pretty house. We only get to see a very small portion of this house in cutscenes, and we get to see this portion right here. This is where we have a conversation with him. And he's not here. Maybe he's upstairs. I really hope we get to find him and loot him and just ruin his life. All right, so is there anything under the stairs? We got to make sure we explore every inch of the house. Because if he's hiding anywhere, I don't want to miss him. I'd be really mad if I accidentally missed him. There's probably not going to be anything that we can loot. I'd be really surprised if there was. Oh, we can search the desk. Come on, give me some secrets. Oh, we got some jewelry. All right, platinum earring. At least there's something in here. All right, is that going to be... There's one more room on this side. Oh, can't get in that one. We're... They're breaking windows. They're trying to get in. Where the hell were the stairs? There they are. Some pretty mirrors, right? Or pretty glass right there. What is this painting? What's he trying to get in his pocket? Yeah, Bronte, 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 Bronte. I know you're in here somewhere. I'm gonna get your ass. This house is huge. Most of these houses that we can glitch into, there's really not a lot to them, but this one is surprisingly detailed. For a house we only go into for like moments. windows we could kill people from. This might be a decent farming spot in online. Uh, what the hell? A lot of death in that painting. Yeah, Bronte, 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 Bronte. I bet there's gonna be... Oh, nope, that doesn't have a drawer in it. So that one's locked as well. This one gonna be? Nope. Oh! Oh, how hilarious would that have been if he was, like, taking a bath this whole time? That would have been great. So we got a couple more drawers here with some snake oil in it. It's nice that they actually populated stuff in here. There's nothing there. He's got one fancy shitter. So nothing here. Can, is there anything in this? Angelo Bronte photograph. Okay. Huh. We flip it? No. Nope. What is this? Benefactor of the Year, 1898. Well, that's nifty. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's super glitchy right there. Look at that. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Anything else we could find in here? I wonder if at one point in time they had you be able to do more stuff inside of here. Since there's like that, that photograph and stuff that we could pick up. Alright, we got a couple more rooms to check. This is freaking huge. That doesn't open any of this stuff? No. I bet he's hiding in the cabinet. Got some more jewelry. Two. Platinum spring bracelet. Okay. This would be a decent house to rob it online. If all the stuff remained the same. Can we walk out this door? Oh, okay, good. Let's glitch into one of these rooms and see if there's actually anything in there. Oh, okay, nope. Nothing in there. Ah, shit. Uh... Um, the house is broken. I broke the house. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, there we go. First person fixed it. Damn, I was really hoping he would be in here. Any of anything? Oh, my God. Okay, I super duper broke it now. 
there's actually a decent amount of jewelry in here so i imagine the jewelry probably is still going to be in here and online so this would be a decent house to loot especially now that you know how to get inside that back door is easy i believe the front door is relatively easy to glitch through as well i was really hoping he would be in here maybe if we glitch in before we do the angelo bronte man of honor mission nice so it looks like we're gonna be able to glitch in a little bit quicker here there's only one guard at the gate and this is literally just before you go in here to recover uh, good old Jack. So if he's ever going to be in this house, it's going to be right now. And the weird thing is there's not as many guards around. So maybe they're in the house this time. Oh, really hoping we'd get it the first time there. Come on, baby. Be in here. Ah. All right, so he's not in here for the cutscene. I'm going to explore the house again and see if I can find him anywhere. So I've explored pretty much every inch of this place, and I've yet to find Angelo Bronte, but we have killed a lot of his guards. I'm curious if maybe any of them have any letters or any additional information. Oh, my Lanta. They have a decent amount of money on them, though. $4.58 a person. You can probably make a decent amount of money just... Plowing through all these guards. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, they got decent money on him. Now, I was thinking maybe for some strange reason he would be in his little house over here. Which would be a little strange for him to be staying. Oh, there's a cop in here now. Why is there a cop in here? Can you go away, please, sir? I know there was a massacre over here not too long ago, but... That's right. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything in this last house. This is the, the last place I need to check. The other one at the very end didn't have anything inside of it. And, oh, it looks like this one doesn't as well. But sometimes you can't tell until you get inside. On a very rare occasion. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything in there. We'd be able to see him probably already. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, we cannot kill Angelo Bronte. I think he just only appears inside of the cutscene, which is unfortunate. I would have liked to have been able to find him outside of the cutscene and take him out or something. But, uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. We got to explore his entire mansion. And, uh, it's pretty interesting in there. There was the one photograph and some jewelry, so probably a decent farming spot for money in Red Dead Online. Although, I still think that just playing game modes is going to net you a lot more money than anything else so uh that's what i would recommend doing but if you don't feel like playing the game modes or don't have good luck at winning the game modes this might be a good source of income anyways hope you all enjoyed it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one